From the end of 2013, West Africa has suffered the worst Ebola epidemic ever. Since March 2014, MSF teams have fought the disease in an extremely complex environment. In December 2013, a mysterious disease appeared in Guinea. On the 21st of March, laboratory tests confirmed it to be Ebola. It spread in the area bordering Guinea, Liberia and Sierra Leone and quickly affected all three countries. MSF deployed teams to Guinea and Liberia. In April, 83 people had died. MSF described the outbreak as unprecedented. The worst was yet to come, with the epidemic spreading faster than the response by the international community. MSF intervened in the three countries, but was not able to respond to all of the needs. At the end of June, MSF said the epidemic was out of control and called for urgent action by the international community. The death toll continued to rise, with 670 deaths in July. At the beginning of August, the World Health Organization declared Ebola to be an international public health emergency. The virus was spreading like a forest fire. In September, there were close to 2,300 deaths. Each week, there were 600 new patients. WHO admitted that the epidemic was out of control. Joanne Liu, MSF's international president, told the United Nations General Assembly that the world was losing the battle and called for the immediate deployment of experienced civilian and military assets to contain the spread of the virus. Following the MSF appeal, the UN Security Council called for an emergency response from all its member states. This Ebola epidemic was the worst ever recorded, and it would kill more people than ever died of Ebola in the past 38 years. MSF concentrated its efforts on treating patients and supporting organizations that were willing to act. In September, the international community finally responded. Any actual implementation, however, only became noticeable in November. In 2014, over 24,000 cases and 10,000 deaths were recorded, while over 3,800 MSF staff were deployed. In January 2015, the epidemic began to slow down, but it was not over yet. From the end of December 2014, research was carried out for developing treatment, diagnostics and a vaccine. In this first year of the response, close to 500 health professionals, including 14 MSF workers, had lost their lives in the fight against the Ebola virus. The state of the healthcare systems in the affected countries is a huge concern. Facilities that were functioning poorly before are at risk of collapsing. In Sierra Leone, the end of the epidemic was declared on the 7th of November 2015. In Guinea, the last identified patient, a newborn, left the treatment centre at the end of November. The end of the epidemic in Liberia, on the 14th of January 2016, also meant the official end of the epidemic as a whole, after having raged for two years. MSF now focuses on a new group of people who need special care the survivors.